Hello everyone, as you can see today, I have a very dirty keyboard with me. All the trash is stuck behind the keys. Trust me, it's very dirty. Once his wife asked him to whisper something dirty in his ears. He said, kitchen, bathroom and bedroom. So now you truly know how dirty he is. Anyway, today we are going to fix that. Today we are going to clean him. If your keyboards are dirty just like me, follow along. Yes, I am from India and you can easily get this stuff here. And we don't speak like this here in India. First, we are going to take this key plucker out. Yes, you can get them on Amazon for 200 rupees. Once you take it out, don't worry, just shove it in. And when you feel like it's stuck properly, hold it tighter with the other hand and pull it out. Just like that. I am sorry if I am wrong, but I have zero sex experience. Before removing all the keys, take a photo of your keyboard. We will need that later on. Be careful while removing the big keys like she entered in your life. Shift a little, you are touching me. I need some space. And then finally, she escapes. And yeah, after that, don't forget about the backspace that she left in your life. Now you need all those keys to be cleaned. Put them in a bowl full of soap water and keep them aside for 5 minutes. Meanwhile, get your naked keyboard at front and just blow him. After that, get yourself some of these and pick out the dust particles. This is called a plucker and you can buy them from any store near you. Along with the dust, I found some hairs. I don't have any idea which hair these are or where they come from, but just remove them. Once you have finished taking out the comparatively bigger dust particles, get yourself some isopropyl alcohol, also called as spirit. This is the stuff which they put on you before injecting. They use cotton to reveal your veins and then they bring out the big guns. After taking out some of that spirit in a bowl, Get yourself some earbuds. Dip the earbuds in isopropyl alcohol a little and wipe it over all the dusts and weird marks. One friendly suggestion, while doing this, don't drink the isopropyl alcohol. It nowhere comes near to taste like alcohol. Now you may ask, how do I know that? Well, that's a whole another story. Let's get back to cleaning our keyboard. Your keys are now done soaking in the water. Bring them back, dry them properly and then fix them. It is very necessary to clean your keyboard once in a while. If you don't clean it for a very long period of time, it will look something like this. And that's how you clean your keyboard. It only works with mechanical and semi-mechanical keyboards. I appreciate that you have watched the whole video. Mayonnaise on an elevator. It's going up. So see you later.